this episode, we're going to look at configuring and setting up Rescue on a Ruby on Rails application. And as a disclaimer, I do prefer Sidekick over any other background worker. However, I think each background worker has its own place to shine. So as a general rule of thumb, I'll use Sidekick by default if I need to do any kind of background jobs. There are a few other background workers like Rescue and also Delayed Job. And there are times where I'll choose Delayed Jobs over Rescue or Sidekick, and that's if I need a very simple infrastructure, or if I have a situation where I need to persist the background queue in the database. Regardless, in this episode, we will be looking at Rescue and how to set it up on our Rails application. And if you are working with a recent Ruby on Rails application, I would highly recommend setting it up via Active Job. Active Job is just a wrapper around your background worker. And the nice thing about that is it makes swapping out Rescue for Sidekick or Sidekick for Rescue very simple. And like any kind of background worker, whenever we visit a page or perform an action, we can trigger a background job to perform. So in this case, on our welcome index action, I have whenever we visit this page, a background job will get queued up, and we can visit the queue to see that it has some jobs queued up. And on average, I found that delayed job is the slowest in processing jobs, and then rescue, and sidekick I've found to be the fastest. However, one thing that I really do like about rescue is that it's very simple. It doesn't have a lot of moving parts, and it just works. But if you do run into a situation where you do have failed jobs, then it won't automatically retry those by default. You would have to install a plugin. And one nice thing about Rescue is that it has a lot of different plugins. Whether you need to report errors to your error monitoring system, if you want to provide retries in case if a job failed, if you want to schedule jobs to perform at a later time, or if you want to add unique constraints so that two jobs cannot have these same attributes. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? So be sure to check that out and use the promo code Ruby for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.